then. Welcome back, sports fans. We are coming to you live from the Toronto System Open. We are in round six of six. This is for all the marbles. I am Timbo Slice. I am handling the final round of casting alongside our prototype Toronto League founder, Aaron Poppenhausen, and our current Hello, sitting folks. prototype Toronto League boss slash marshal for today's event, Mr. Devin Monkhouse. Devin, how are you, sir? Oh, I am doing great. Glad to hear it, my man. How's the, how's the event turned out from your perspective today? Uh, we've had a few hiccups with the software, but other than that, uh, a lot of user error, but it's we got it done. No more than a, no more issues than a normal tournament, and you know we're in and out by 9 p.m. So can't complain about that. This is a heck of a matchup, guys. Oh, I I love these lists. We had we had to get Kalen on. Uh, yep. You know we got to get a West Coast Canadian on. We had someone from Winnipeg. We got, got a great cross section to Canada. Got uh, Stephen Kim and some great great uh, games with uh, Dune and. Uh, other yeah. PTL notables, so Saw that I'm one. very excited. So excited let's to watch talk about these lists. Oh sure. my god! I, I had the uh, I had the pleasure of playing Kalen in round one today. We had an absolute squeaker of a game. Uh huh. Um, he has built this list with a little bit of genius in it. Not to mention, um, he says he's channeling team. Blair Bunky. Yeah, he's definitely channeling his inner Blair Bunky on this one for yeah, sure. It's because big talk. The beautiful part about this list, gentlemen, is the domino effect. Because the Blue Squadron pilot B Wing is PS two or Initiative two, he gets to initiate that tractor beam shot before anybody else shoots. Right. So. Mike Croft on his side has no tractor beam per se, but he definitely has a lot of health. So the work that the Z95s have cut out for them in this game could very well be offset by the fact that Mike has the offensive capabilities to blow one or two Z95s up a turn. Yes. Um, if Mike can close the gap in terms of ship count close and quickly enough, he'll have a chance in this matchup. If Kalen can keep the ship count up, uh, he's definitely going to have the advantage in this one. Uh, do we know who first player is? Uh, we don't know who first player. I'm assuming it's Kalen because Kalen's B wing went down before Mike's whole list went down. Yeah. So right. that would make sense. The now players Kalen, shook hands. We're about to start. Now Kalen's using all those Z95s are mine. The B wing is yours. Uh, Kalen uh, showed up, called an audible. He uh, switched his list this morning of, and uh, I think he's he's done pretty well from him, himself. Both these players are. Are uh, are four and one, so this is definitely a uh, a bubble uh, match right for these guys. So yeah. there's a little bit of a, a nauseating bit of irony that I was defeated by my own B wing, because of course I lent <laughs> Kalen the B wing model for his list today. <laughs> so and these these lists are, I would say, uh, product or, or typical of uh, of some of what we're seeing in the top uh, top eight. We've got. Um, uh, Pete Rose, who sat at the, the top of, of Swiss all day with Zeb, two Blue Squadron X-Wings, X -Wings, and two Blue Squadron B-Wings. Nice. And um, we've, we've seen a lot of this, like, uh, five-ship Rebel, four-ship Imperial, like, real just chunky stuff today. So it's um, been a real numbers game out there, and it's really been interesting to see. Well, technically, this is table four. But this between table. tables one through four, we've got two members of the GRX we got Mike Croft, who's on stream with us right now. We've got Ryan Ferguson on table two. So GRX from KW definitely showing their colors Sweet. in a yeah. big way today. And we got Stephen Kim from the PTL. Yeah, uh, buddy. Rathos Steven. himself. Who defeated D. Yoon in an epic showdown a little bit earlier this afternoon. Yeah. Nice. Well, that's, uh, Everybody two pushing SFs for those five wins. Salons. Or to yeah. maintain their wins at this yeah. point. Yeah. Well, that's the bubble match right here, yeah. Aaron. I mean, the, the winner of this match goes on to day two. We've got a wide spread on Kalen's side. I'm very happy I get you to commentate this match in the air. Nobody's going to understand uh, Rebel squad formation flying with these type of list architects better than you, my man. Look at that. He doesn't even bother there using those S-foils. Oh, I mean, look at this. He knows where he's, he wants to go. He's literally got an arc <laughs> that big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we see some Blair Bunky style flying indeed. See what Mike can do. So Mike is motoring beyond the rocks. Any uh, predictions on the lane that Mike is going to take his B wings through, Aaron? I think he's just going to try to come in fast, or so it seems, uh, with banks from Kalen's left. That is to Mike's left. 
That seems to be what he's doing. That's amazing to me with the amount of uh, multi-ship lists, phantoms, big, big pro torp lists, any of that stuff. Like Just the, the, the plethora of variety that we've seen today. That four lonely B-wings and, and a Shethapede have managed to make it through um, this field as unscathed as Mike Croft. He's had like two 200 nothing wins today. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's got the tools to do it, no doubt. He's got, you know, three, six, nine, twelve, you know, 15 red dice at range two or three, um, 16 if you're at, you know, range one. Um, do you think that having Leia on Zeb has been the the linchpin, like the, 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 the secret sauce for him today? I imagine it's pretty huge. Um, one of the things you might do with your B-Wings is you might uh, roll and focus them and take a stress, because that's really handy. Uh, but uh, Leia would then allow him to do what would otherwise be red maneuvers on top of a stress position. So Leia gives you a lot of flexibility, especially when stress is being thrown around by Phasma or Sloan. And it's not immediately obvious, but it's pretty huge in those matchups, since Phasma can lock down an entire formation by throwing stress on it. It's quite right, but unless you're already stressed. Yeah, which, at which point you don't care. Yeah, exactly. So you, like, for example, if you were to do a B-wing turn, like, you, you pivot the whole thing this way. Mm -hmm. Now they're facing that way. And then the following, so they're all stressed. Yep. The following turn you use Leia, then you go this way, and they're facing back this way. Yep. And they're single stressed. Yep. But Leia's just amazing like that. I mean, you probably wouldn't do it with your whole formation, but that you can do it with one ship yeah. that you would not otherwise be able to do it, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, that when I played Kalen, he, he saved his Leia for the moment that I thought he was going to save Leia for. Yep. You know, he saved it for a moment when he wanted to zero stop 180, the U-wing, mm -hmm. K-turn, two of the Zs, K-turn, the X-wing, etc. He did K-turn one of his Zs through a debris cloud, so he took a stress regardless. But, right. I mean, Leia's phenomenal value for two points. Now. She is. Two, po two points is probably too cheap. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Kalen paying it very cautiously. Wants to see where Mike's going to end up. Not a bad call. He's got to get the top half of his formation banked around the mustache. Yep. Which is going to be a tough one. But Well, so far, it does look like he's Blair bunking. It's pretty impressive. Well, Kalen's no slouch. Yeah. Kalen is arguably one of the best uh, X-Wing players west of Manitoba. And I say that because he's got the most, you know, places in, in premier events south of the border. Which, and, you know, historically. Hitherto have been most of them. True. And, you know, his versatility as a player is really shining through here because, as, mm -hmm. you, as some of us would remember from 1.0, he placed at a few events using Kanan and Biggs, mm -hmm. which is a much, much different Lust archetype than the one he's brought here today. Yes. I have not seen him fly swarms or large ship squads before um, myself, but then again, I don't know the gentleman very well. But, you know, here he is, six ships uh, on the board, and flying them like a boss, like he's 4-1 and one in the system open. So um, there you have it. Okay, Mike not wasting any time either. Realizes yep. that Kalen's squad is more spread out than it should be. I think he's going to try and close this gap. Um, oh, no. Now he's going to take it a little cautiously. He might want to try and get his entire squad lined up for that lane there, which yes. would be tough because the X-Wing would have to three-bank boost three bank boost to get back into range on it okay so the dial for a b-wing consists of uh eight red maneuvers they have red one turns they have red one talent rolls they have red three banks and those talent rolls are fantastic yeah um yeah so mike popped leia in order to do those three banks correct yeah And we can overhear the guys on the table talking. Yeah, Cam, uh, Cam Murray from the GRX is the table judge. Uh, just clarifying that he will not uh, DQ anybody for accidentally knocking a rock. Me personally, I think that's a bad decision. I think you should DQ people um, for the slightest infractions for yes. match walls. All right, so 
Mike would like to three straight the B-Wings. But should he? Mm. I think the answer to that is no. It's always tough to tell on the screen. Looks like he might have range to a Z95 in that case. Let's, let's talk about uh, target priority, shall we? Sure. Um, Aaron, based on the location of the squads at this point, mm -hmm. who do you think both of our players uh, should be trying to target? I don't think we're going to get combat on this upcoming round, but, I mean, I think Mike should probably one or two forward his B-Wings and barrel roll down board one more time mm -hmm. before pivoting in uh, and engaging, because I still think that Kalen's side, number one and number four, are way too far out of the fight. But Yeah. Four is two turns away, this turn and the upcoming one, in order to get range on those B-Wings if they do three straights and stick where they are. Okay, we got speed. B or the U-Wing clearing that stress. Yeah. Okay, taking a focus. I don't think we're going to get shots this round. I don't think Mike went fast. We'll see what we'll he see. did. We'll see. One straight for the Z. Z. See, I think he's done this because he decided that Mike is doing three straights. Uh, clarify for our viewers in the in the chat, no, this is not a 5-0 and o, uh, playoff. This is a 4-1 and one death match. We love bringing the most death, uh, epic The most struggles. matches. Yeah, the most epic struggles. So we bring you uh, the 4-1 and one bubble match for round six. Definitely a few players that are guaranteed to make day two at this point already. Oh, that's an X-Wing. <laughs> yeah, that's the X-Wing on the top. All right, that explains why it was out there. Yeah, he's got the boost on it right now. I think um, Kalen's got the S-Foils closed on it. One would assume. Time to see if Mike read Kalen's mail. So either way this goes, this is good for Kalen. Um, if word. the, the B-Wings go one straight... There may be a range three exchange, and the other ships will close in in the next round. Look at if, that. That's like the 17th century Redcoats firing line. <laughs> it's, it's pretty nasty. <laughs> he did do the three straights. And you know, Tim, I think that was the right call. You think? Now, should he barrel? Yeah. Uh, should he barrel roll those guys? Uh, I think five and three are still going to take return shots, even if they barrel roll at this point, mate. Keeps him at a blocking range. Now he's going to focus barrel roll. Yeah. yeah. However, that means that dude does not have arc on that Z95. And my call would have been just to wipe that thing. Interesting. I still don't think we're going to have shots this turn. I still don't think that three and three can shoot each other. Are you a betting man, Timbo Slice? Always. Degenerately right. so. So you think three and three are out of range? Yeah, that's a close one, but I think... The All right, what should we put in the line since I think they are? Okay, okay. Uh, if three and three are not able to shoot each other... Yes. You have to come crush a beer in one go out the back, <laughs> like a 20-year-old. Um, and what do I get? Because I don't need to see you crush beers. <laughs> <laughs> two may be out of range. The two bank was a good call from Kalen with the Ewing... What other kind of beer is there? Yeah, there's T4 no other kind viral. of beer besides Canadian beer. There's only Canadian beer and countries that wish they had Canadian beer. Come on, let's be real here, folks. Like Belgium, their beer is terrible. No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, here at the Toronto System Open, we actually uh, decided alongside the, um, the Bytown Smugglers League from Ottawa to do a craft beer um, swap. So different nice. folks from all over the U.S. And, and Ontario and Canada all brought like a local craft brew, mm -hmm. and then we all kind of swapped them all and pooled them all so that everybody could try some different beers from all over the place. So, yeah, we've had a great uh, great time with that so far this weekend. Yeah. Well, pending uh, the range ruler coming out, I'd say Mike has got a good sense of range here. What to do with this fella? Mm. I think he should just do the barrel roll focus as well. I think he's out of range. Eh, I don't know. Just out. Yeah. So, unfortunately, that tells us that you have lost our bet. What, that uh, that this B-Wing and the U-Wing can't shoot each other? Well, that was so close that it tells us. I still think that 3-3 three three can't shoot each other. Ah, man. that's totes in. I'm, 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 I'm a quiver with curiosity at this point. 
Oh, yep. What's happening? Ah, ooh. Uh, it's a disaster. The game state is irreparable. It's no problem. Just DQ them. They're just GRX Look, guys. There's this Cam's beatific <laughs> face. Clarification to one of our Twitch uh, stream chat viewers, uh, Uncle Mark 2019, who says that X Wing goes better with beer. Uh, correction, everything goes better with beer. Uncle Mark, thank you very much. Okay, so now he's giving himself a barrel roll. Okay, yeah. So we're going to take the barrel roll from With the, the focus. Core. And that yeah. told him what the range was. And that was from the coordinate from Zeb Aurelios. Yeah. I still say that Zeb's better as a crew. I love Zeb crew. Have I bumped you? Do I still get to shoot you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's do. nice. I mean, <laughs> the only times I've run him, though, I've been like, actually, I wanted to block that guy and not get shot. Now I'm getting shot. That's bad. Okay, so Kalen's twos get to shoot first. Because he is player one. Oh, it's a partisan. It is a partisan. Yeah, it's a PS1. Oh, that changes things. Yeah. Although, all Kalen's guys are moving first. AP5, yeah, nope. That's, that's way out. No range from that dude. Going to try this one. Oh, oh, it's down to the wire. Folks, Aaron's chugging a beer. What was that in? Just the one shot. Oh, five damn Five on number three. Yeah, I'll chug a beer tomorrow. Oh, we're gonna get you. We're gonna <laughs> get you going, buddy. Don't you worry. Damn. Well, my excuse is it's tough to sell on screen. <laughs> it's all good. It was really, really close. It so. was. Okay, so we've got opening shots from number five B wing. Rolling hit hit. I gonna mod it. Taking hit hit hit. Kalen. Trip of A. A natties. <laughs> Okay, so number three, U-Wing going to get a, take a range three shot back at the B-Wing. Probably mm -hmm. get a couple of shields in here at this point. That was a lovely defense roll there. Only yep. two. See if the B-Wing can natty out as well. No. Just taking one. One shield on number five, B-Wing. Oh, yeah, the Z-95 has a shot as well. Hit crit on number five. Taking another shield. So we saw the fast gambit happen here. And it's not gone Mike's way. Not only did he not have range, um, the defense dice on a U-Wing at range three are pretty substantial most of the time. Uh, and um, Well, this is going to be the turn where the maximum shots are exchanged and target yes. priority is going to come into it. But before we get into the planning phase, why don't we take a couple of minutes and we'll just run through some, some call-outs from the day. So we'll, let's start by thanking uh, Cascade Games. Woot. After two years of um, begging and, 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 and hounding Steve and the guys at Cascades, they were finally nice enough to cave in mm -hmm. and bring a system open up to Canada. We're thrilled to have them here. They're having a blast. We're having a blast. It's we a hope blast. they're going to come back uh, next time and a time after. Yep. Uh, great shout out to the staff at Face to Face Games in Toronto uh, who teamed up with Cascade Games in order to execute the event. Um, you know, the, the guys, Kelly and Graham, and the guys at Face to Face have pulled off an face excellent Face to Face job. are was lovely last human night. beings. We had 100 and something odd players uh, rock through the door this morning, and everything was just ready to go. Best Coast Pairings has behaved okay today. I think that we're not quite there with it yet. We'll get there soon. There's need a few more tournaments under their belts with it. But anyway. I'm a Luddite. I, I want to do this on stone tablets. Yeah, I know. You want carrier pigeons and pencils, so that's fine. Yeah, stone tablets. Big shout out to Sumit Vats who had to take off this afternoon uh, just after the last game. He streamed uh, the first five rounds. Um, what a champ. What a champion. Loved him. And, and yeah, it's been a great day so far. So we're going to be seeing. Kalen's going to trigger Leia activation phase beginning here. And he's going to go for the block. Taking the red four forward, which is, of course, white in this case. Going for a block. Probably it's, it's always white. The what? You're right. The four forward is white yeah. on that one. Yeah, sorry. So did he trigger Leia? Uh, he said the words Leia. I heard it in my microphone. I don't think he actually triggered Leia. Yeah, I see I no need right. to this round. I don't see round. why he would trigger. No one's taking a red maneuver this turn. Yeah, this is going to be devastating. Now, if Mike's seen it coming, he does one straights with the whole lot. Yeah, if he, if he won banks. He's host. He's toast. If he won, if he won banked five, the whole formation's going to bump. I mean, he can do him last for... Or three and four might still fit. I'm not going to make calls about this stream anymore. Cause, uh, looking at the screen because uh, yeah. 
My yeah, last I one was Ron wrong. Was asking the other about Leia. So we've got Mike, who's recharged two out of three of his Leia charges. Yep. So next turn, Mike will be in a position to use Leia one more time. Mm -hmm. Kalen doesn't need to use it at this point, but got a three four, probably a boost. Yes, from this X wing. The X wing is the flanker. Focus boost from the T sixty five. Now you and I, Aaron, are heavy advocates for the T-65 being almost better than the T-75 in some cases because of that ability to focus boost. It's pretty pretty clutch. Um, when you are disengaging with uh, an X-Wing, it's really nice to be able to do it and not so helpful to barrel roll focus. Focus barrel roll as you do with the T-70. Excellent question from Winnipeg, Manitoba this evening. What is the proper phrasing? What is the proper nomenclature Oh, no. Or a group of B wings. Is it a block of B wings? A barrel of B wings? A brothel of B wings? Let's hear from the chat. What do you think it is? A flock? What of would you call it, folks? A murder of B wings? Like whatever you think. I like alliteration. A bucket load. A bucket load? Square metric butt ton? Uh. <laughs> okay, so we've got number three that did the bank. That probably leads us to assume that five did the one bank. Does five have a stress? Five does not. I mean, I see a stress token there. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're so right. I think that's fives. I think everybody's from the B wings is stressed. Ooh, a beehive. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. I like brawn of a bloom of B wings. That's that's poetic. Big Major shout out him. to you, chat folks, this evening, keeping us honest. Really contributing to the overall enjoyment of the uh, of the stream this evening. Well, this is a bump of B wings. Yeah, but this is just excellent play from uh, Mike here. He's got a non-zero chance of bumping his own B-Wing and mm -hmm. keeping four guns on the U-Wing this turn. Because yes. he can always coordinate uh, a token to five from AP-5, right? Yep. That, of course, means no token for AP-5. But So the table judge Cam going to do this maneuver because it's incredibly important. Mm -hmm. Cam it's our see. steady hand, Cam. Steady hand cam. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the B-Wing fits in the intervening space between the other B-Wing and the U-Wing. Yep. So, yep. Bumps his Good own B-Wing. Fantastic move uh, by Mike Croft. Just having the foresight to move B-Wing three first, cause that self-bump here, and yep. keep arc with the B-Wing on the U-Wing. Got a one-bank this one. I don't know if this B-Wing's going to keep arc on the U-Wing. Might be too far up board. Yep. Yeah, it's no bueno. Well, he'll just have to shoot something else. Oh, drat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that might be the one for uh, Kalen to wipe off the board. Okay, so B-Wing number two also going to bump into the back of B-Wing five. Mike definitely going to feel the effects of the lack of tokens on his side of the board this turn, I yep. reckon. And he does have this discretionary action from AP5 mm -hmm. with which he can do something. AP5 might actually want to take a defensive token here. Sorry, it's not AP5. We keep saying it's AP5. Oh, it's Zeb, yeah. Yeah. I think I'd give the B-Wings, one of the B-Wings, a token. Well, Kalen masterfully put his B-Wing, or sorry, Which his U-Wing, I should say, in just an absolutely great spot yep. to gum up Mike's formation uh, next turn. Okay, so the X-Wing's going to fire first. He's got range three to AP, or sorry, range three to Zeb, and he's got range three to number four. They're just going to move stuff around until... You know, yep. it makes for a good story. Probably going to take the shot on Zeb. No tokens. So it's only a two-dice shot from this X-Wing because yep. his foils are closed. Foils are closed. I got one shooting at number four. Yep. It's only got two dice. Range three obstructed. And that's... Hot steaming garbage. Nothing. All right, nothing there. Uh, so Kalen's B-Wing will shoot next. Kalen is player one. Yep. I wonder if he's going to use a tractor beam here to pull B-Wing 4 forward and get 3 B-Wing 4. Yep. That seemed like a good call. But why, if he was going to use the tractor beam, wouldn't he have used it first? Yeah, good call. Good call. Yeah, that's right. I think he's just going to try to rip into the B-Wing. Well, B-Wing number 5 is still damaged, and both Zs, possibly the third one, and the B-Wing all have range to 5, I would reckon. Wouldn't you? I would say mm -hmm. that those three definitely. Him might not. I don't know, but we'll see soon enough. Right. Yeah, he's also got the shot from the bloody U-Wing. Well, he's tractor beaming into number four. Oh, the f right. Focus for two. See if this hits. 
So which is the damage B-Wing? Can you circle uh, Number five. Number five is damaged. Oh. Oh, they're shooting at number three. Okay, so yeah. number three is tractor beam. Interesting choice by Kalen. I think he's trying to get... Deny the arc? Yeah, deny the arc here. I, that's going to be awfully split close. Up, split up the fire. Ooh, uh, I think he succeeded. Wowzers. My word. No, we don't... We're not putting any more games with Vader and soon tear up, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we prefer games with X-Wigs in the... Isn't it awkward? <laughs> All right, so we got the number five B-Wing shooting at the U-Wing. Two results. Going to spend that lock. Nets out three results. U-Wing gets okay. two. U-Wing blanks. Shields, shields down. Shields and a crit on the U-Wing. No, that's just the shields. Oh, yeah, they have three shields. Yeah, that, and he so. double nat he natty last time. So number two, naked dice, four dice. Mike Croft, time for some magic here. Nope. Hit, hit. No, sorry, hit crit. There so that's go. not bad. Nope. Probably going to dump a crit in here to the U-Wing unless Kalen double. Yep. Oh, he double blanks again. Okay. Wow. So hit crit, half health on the U-Wing. Mike Croft drawing first blood in this game. Fuel leak, Fuel leak on the U-Wing. That's rough. Damn, maybe Zeb will finish it. He'd need a hit crit to do that. Yeah, as a reminder to our viewers, of course, Zeb Aurelios is the one that says he cancels crits first. Yes. So. That's his only thing. Yeah, it's pretty much his only shtick, isn't it? Yeah. So why do you think Zeb here? Oh, because he's a two. Zeb Man. pulling hot fire. <laughs> crit going to trigger that fuel leak. No, he oh, spends the focus. Focus going to save the U-Wing from some hurt there. Wowzers. And we've got one one of Mike's B-Wings left, right? Yeah, Kalen's dice not really behaving very well. Benefit, of course, of his list is that he rolls so bloody many dice, he doesn't need every single one of them. I mean, I think games. his dice were just building the suspense for us there. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to blank out, blank out, blank out. Ooh, look at that. I still do five damage. <laughs> so it looks like B-Wing number four does not have arc on yep, the U-Wing. a shot on that Z there. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yep. All in, Mike, all it. in. Z95. Gonna lose it at shields, keeping the focus. I don't know. Blair Bunky wouldn't. Yeah. Spending focus, taking one. Just a quick little decision making moment there. Yeah, but Blair Bunky would have gone the other way. Well, I would have kept the focus token too, because you're about to be able to dump <coughs> six dice into that B Wing number four here. Yeah, but no offense. You're not Blair Bunky. No, quite right. I'm, I'm also 1 3 drop man today, so don't take my advice. <laughs> In the club. Okay, so number three shot at the Z95 there. Did some damage. Number four going to shoot first. There he goes. Kalen shooting number four at the B-Wing. Taking two. B-Wing number four taking two. Remember, yep. his numbers are so different than Z95 ours. So Z95 five shooting B-Wing five. Focus for two. B-Wing 5, evading 1, taking the shield. Interesting choice no, that was to split a card. fire here. That was a card. Z95, the U-Wing taking two crits. Two crits yep. into two number crits 5. Two crits B-Wing 5 could do him in here. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Nope. Lots of text. B-Wing 5 survives. We've got a wounded pilot. And a loose stabilizer. Loose stabilizer is rough. On a one-hull ship. Yeah. <laughs> so the last Z95 shot at B-Wing number five, and I think that'll do it for him. Yep. Oh, yeah? One more. Yep. That'll do it for B-Wing number five. It's incredibly crucial to get all of the B-Wings, or so get a ship off every round. Mm -hmm. Because the highest initiative on the board is only PS2, that means that if you don't kill a ship, even if you kill it first thing the following turn, it still gets to shoot. Yep. Well, presuming it's not an, uh, yeah. an I-1. So we've got the Blue Squadron Scout and a nice healthy three. I mean, this is so rough for Mike. And both of our players have access to Leo Organa in this turn. We could actually possibly see... Four, six, eight, ten. I mean, we could see ten red maneuvers <laughs> this turn, and no stress. Mm -hmm. I don't see any reason for this B-Wing to do a red maneuver, but... Okay, so where are you going with the U-Wing if you're Kalen? Looks like there's nowhere out of that mess, so you're just bumping. Maybe a three-bank right would make it? I well, can't tell. If you pop Leia, you could just stop and target lock yeah. Zeb. 
There's so many options. But then there's not so much space for your, your, your other ships. Well, that's what I mean. Like, the U-Wing is in the way mm -hmm. of all three of yep. these guys, right? If he doesn't it's, get out of the way, all three of those Zs are going to bump. It's kind of what it does. It just, just gets in the gets way. gets in the way, and then it goes, hey, look, <laughs> I'm in the way. You're at range one, so I get four dice. Maybe I'll roll hot. So Kalen has traded half elf on the U wing and one shield off of one of his Z's for one of Mike's B wings. Um, definitely a points uh, advantage trade. I don't know if, positionally speaking, it's the best thing for him because B wing three has mm -hmm. a flank now. But then again, I mean, kalen has got a flank with his X-Wing, so... Yeah, that X-Wing being there is huge. Yeah. One of those... Which of... Uh, so, all of Mike's ships are at full health, so there's no obvious target. It's just a matter of who he can catch. So what he wants to do is prevent K-turns, and some of these guys need to K-turn. Well, 4 does. B-Wing 4 does. He can block that K-turn and shut that ship down. So that's probably the target, but if he could prevent three from having a B wing three from having a quality shot, that would be nice too. So full stop from the U wing. Uh, let's say bank one from number six. Looks like that'll bump. And bank one from number five, and maybe a one straight from number four, and then the X wing does a one straight. Yeah, see, I think that there's some there's some talk in the chat about the difference, or, or I should say the difference, the, the decision that Mike made to take Zeb instead of AP5. And while I fully agree that AP5 is an incredibly powerful piece for being able to coordinate uh, while stressed, having Zeb at Initiative 2 synergizes with this list so spectacularly. Like, if, if Zeb were AP5 in this, in this turn... Mike would be in big trouble, right? Because you have to move him first, yep. and that's a big problem. Uh, this is probably one of the pivotal uh, moments in the game. We're just after half time uh, in the game, so whoever comes out of this round with a points advantage is going to be able to ride it into the late game. Um, and if Mike can catch up, like if Mike can kill the U-Wing and something else, He'll be laughing. I don't think he'll be able to kill the U Wing in this turn. I, think I that don't think so either. You won't be able to get enough guns on it. Like, even if you use Zeb, like, if the U Wing stops and you use Zeb one forward and this guy one bank to kill the U Wing, these two guys are in big trouble. I mean, he has to worry about uh, Kalen banking his uh, B Wing to one and tractor beaming him off the uh, U Wing again. If he denies a shot there, and the other two shots are unmodded at some Z95s, I mean, then that's Kalen's round, right? Like, yeah, Kalen's going to be taking, sorry, I should say, Mike is going to be taking two shots from Kalen before his B Wing shoot. So he has to be extremely mindful of what tokens he spends. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to mark this B Wing and get him out of there. Oh, okay. So he's trying a two turn. <clears throat> Mike Croft has triggered Leia. I can see his charges being flipped. Okay. Not sure if Kalen has triggered Leia as well. So that's correct. Both players triggering Leia. We're going to throw Leia up on the screen there. <laughs> Dueling Leia's. Interesting choice from Kalen on the two turn uh, from the Ewing there. Didn't see oh, that look. coming. Cam's putting ships out of the place. Yo, judge better, Cam. Yeah. <laughs> No, they're trying to close the wings and get the U-Wing uh, out of the way. I mock, of course, but when you're up there on the table and there is someone helping you under the hot lights, it's the best thing in the world. It's very reassuring because you're yeah. already stressed and, and nervous being on the stream. Yeah. And, yeah, no, I completely agree. Okay, so no damage uh, from the debris cloud there. So he was clear. Wow. Wow. Yeah, he did need to get the U-Wing out of the way. Okay, so we're taking a white K turn from that Z. Beautiful block. Yep. Take it a focus. Probably going to get a bank and a bank from four and five and a bank from two on Kalen's side. 
one forward from four. Opening the foils on X-Wing number two. Taking a bank in. Interesting choice. Thought he was going to try and trade places with the U-Wing and come up on the... Um, come up on the six of, uh, of Mike's squad here, but... This is what's known in professional circles as a box for killing. A kill box? One of those. Oh. Kalen's ability to be player one in this case might pay dividends for him because he's taken all the tokens. Mm -hmm. um, I think Mike's looking at at least one bump this turn. Don't know if it's going to be B-Wing four. B-Wing four, sorry, B-Wing number three, I should say, uh, on Mike's side, still having a, a nice little flank there to be able to come in, see what he's going to do with that advantage. Going to be able to dodge probably just the one arc, just the arc from the Z95 is uh, number six is my guess. Right. That was the reason for the Leia move. Yeah. And that's a nice call. Yeah, not bad at all. All right, so B-Wing number three on Mike's side has a target lock on the U-Wing. Um, takes a focus here. Could probably, or could the potential of finishing off the um, the U-Wing. Forgive me for talking slowly, folks. I'm actually mesmerized by this game here. <laughs> I'm like trying to cast it and look at it, try to guess what players are doing or what they're thinking or who they're going to shoot at. Aaron and I are kind of just sitting there like, blah, 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 like no idea what's going on. So, well, that's pretty wild. I mean, I did not see the uh, two turn coming. No, from the you blew my mind. And so I didn't see Mike's counterplay with the one turn coming. So they're just ahead of us. Okay, two straight from the B. Okay, that's not totally horrible. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good either. There's uh, going to be what looks like. That's a great move from uh, B nine red four. Eliminates nine red one shot on him, I guess. That's not bad. We'll see what he, what uh, Mike does with Zeb. I fear for B wing four safety though, because he's got how many arcs on him this turn? Oh yeah, this <laughs> Zeb behind him. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> a boom. <laughs> Mike gonna have to pull some magic out here. Yeah, number four, unquestionably in the valley of the shadow of death. Uh, in the middle of the board there. Professor Tracksuit says, this is a real nail biter. I am eating my hands, Tracksuit. I completely forgot that the 2.0 Shethapede has a reverse. Damn! <laughs> Which, of course, he can do with Which he can Leia. do, of course, with Leia, yeah. and it's not a red maneuver. Nice. Wow! Going to coordinate the barrel roll focus from that B-wing there. Nice. Keep him out of danger. Probably going to pull a one bank blue on B wing number three. Bump into the back of uh, Kalen's Z95 number six. Or do a one straight and hope for arc? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'll have it. Nope, just take it a one forward. All right. Yeah. Uh, we're going to see if that fits. It does. Pro tip if you want to see if a ship fits and it's oh, a I see. small base ship, you can use a two. Mm hmm. Because a one straight and the width of a base plate is essentially a two forward some very good calls on mike's part given the situation he was in yeah trouble is his arcs are still all over the place no i couldn't agree with you more Aaron. i was just thinking the same thing it's it's what kalen is doing to uh wield this game into his favor is he's making mike split his fire which is a big no-no in x-wing you always want to yes. try especially in these multi-ship single mod, uncomplicated, crazy, I'm not Vader with 16 actions kind of lists. You want to make sure that you've got all your arcs on the same target uh, and rely on as much variance as you can to push damage through. Um, Mike also has an agility disadvantage in this in this matchup. He's got ships For with sure. one agility instead of the majority of Kalen's listed as two. Um, and we're going to see how much damage Kalen pulls off with his X-Wing and his B-Wing at this point. Yep. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if Kalen utilizes one of his two cannons on his on his B-Wing. Nope. X-Wing going to shoot first. Looks Into like the range. Looks like range one. Well, yep. we'll see with the dice. Let's see what it is. Range one. There you go. Three hits and a crit on that B-Wing. Evading one, taking three shields. Range two from yep. Kalen's B-Wing. It's got a range one on, yeah, it's going to continue fire on that B-Wing there. Yep. One hit, one crit. No more messing with the tractor beam. It's killing time. 
dumping a crit into one of Mike's B wings here. Yep, bad news. <clears throat> Loose stabilizer from the B wing. That's a rough Brutal. crit to get. He really wanted to be able to do that talon roll the next turn. It's pretty devastating. Yeah, it sucks because you got to clear it too. Okay, so Mike's ship's going to take their shots now. Um, going to see if B wing number three can finish off uh, the U wing first. Not really a good start. Going to spend the lock. Nets out three results. Has to spend both tokens. Not the best, right? He needs to bring it down. Two. Hit and a crit. Yep. It's direct. The Ewing's dead. Nope. Blinded pilot. It's blinded. Oh, why do you take three? I don't understand. I don't know. Fuel leak. Oh, the fuel leak. Fuel I leaks? think that does it for the Ewing. Uh, thanks to simultaneous fire, the Ewing will not be removed until the conclusion of the initiative two step, which would mean that the rest of Mike's B wings have to shoot and Zeb. So, uh, B wing number two, gonna, no, B wing number four, shooting range one on, on Z95 number four. Just one, one result, hit. not what Mike needs to see there. Uh, Kalen gonna get to roll that cocked eye again. All right, we're keeping the result. It is one on one, evaded. Okay, so B-Wing number two still has to shoot. B-Wing number two has a target lock on the back Z95 and a focus token. So we're going to see who Mike's going to consider his options here very carefully. Uh, the only Z95 that's damaged is number six. Nope, he's going to trigger Zeb first. Okay. Okay, Zeb shooting at, Zeb shooting at the Z95. Two results. Kalen's going to have to consider to spend that focus token. Nope. Taking the damage. Keeping the He's focus. taking the damage. All right. Number two still got a shot. Looks like range three. Yep. Range three. Two hits. We'll see if the Z95 can dodge it. Number It's uh, Mike's red B-wing number two shooting at Z95. Four. Spent the lock. No bueno. Uh, looks and like it's evaded. Yeah. Is it fully evaded? Wow. Yeah. Excellent rolling by uh, Kalen on that yes. turn. And the oh, he is dead. Me. Okay. Yeah. Never mind me, folks. It's definitely um, a really important mechanic in 2.0. The about. simultaneous we'll talk, fire? Yeah, the simultaneous yeah. fire. We'll talk about it when we get to the planning phase. Mm. Come to the Furious Z95s. Focusing for two. Innovate. Phase one takes one. B wing number four with one health left. And a fuel, uh, it was the uh, can't yep. do straights, the loose stabilizer. I think the B wing number four is going to live this turn. Oh, yeah. Looks like it. Z, uh, Kalen Z going to take a hit crit on B wing number two, red B wing number two from Z95 mm -hmm. five. Yeah. Spending that focus, taking one. One shield. Okay. So, um, turn complete. Mike definitely caught up, not as much as I think he should have or needed to. B-wing number four, definitely going to be able to take one more shot before he dies um, next turn because Kalen's going to keep at least one gun on him and take him out. I mean, Why don't we take this moment to uh, to talk a little bit about the simultaneous fire initiative step. Sure, difference. but before we go any further, I believe uh, B-wing four has a loose stabilizer crit, which means... He has to do a straight or he dies because he's got three. Only one hull remains. Correct. I, I agree with you. I think that a one straight here isn't the worst thing because then the X-Wing has the wasted shot killing the one health B-Wing. When that X-Wing could be far better used, you know, doing like a three turn here and, and getting on Zeb kind of thing. Right, right? but there's also uh, Z95-6. But you're saying simultaneous fire yeah. in these efficiency lists. So in 2.0, folks, as a reminder, I've seen it happen a lot today, to tell you the truth, Aaron. A couple of mm -hmm. games next to me, I, one of them was very critical. And in one of my games, it was very critical because um, I was playing against some phantoms that shot Kagi, killed Kagi, but Kagi is dead after the first one shot, and three more phantoms have to shoot. Well, Kagi doesn't go away, which means Sloan doesn't go away. Right. So one of his other phantoms kills another one of my ships. Sloan still triggers before Kagi's removed. So just as a reminder, folks, a ship that has been dealt the number of 
damage cards equal to its hull value is destroyed. However, the ship is not removed until the conclusion of that pilot initiative step. Yes. So there's lots of mechanics in 2.0 that are going to make that an incredibly pivotal thing. Biggs being one of them. Like if you've got... Howl Runner. Howl Runner. Biggs. Um, we Sloan, talked about Sloan. Drea. Like there's Drea. There's a lot of different things to remember about um, the order in which things can happen when you kill that. So it's also important to take note if you're the attacker in what order you should shoot at. So just because you've got that one health B-Wing in front of you doesn't mean you should use your first ship to kill it. You should really consider your options about what order you're taking what shots in. Now, obviously, there's the, always a the risk you run where like, if you save your last ship to shoot at the ship that's almost dead, you could not kill it. Yeah, that's a bad gamble. I made that gamble and lost. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you want to, I mean, ideally have all your ships take a shot. So when you're in that situation and you're looking at a ship you know you're going to kill, make sure you maximize your shots. Uh, great question from the chat about Zeb's ability to coordinate um, to another ship. The answer is yes. Uh, coordinate doesn't pass an action uh, on your action bar. Only squad leader. Uh, the talent slot that grants a ship a, a coordinated action yes. is limited to coordinating an action on your action bar. Because Zeb's uh, coordinate is, is a uh, natural one, he can mm -hmm. coordinate any kind of action, including, as mentioned in the chat just now, the ability for Zeb to pass an action to B-Wing number four, uh, who can clear his loose stabilizer crit and then do that 2K or that right. one talent. Um, Great use of Zeb's uh, uh, coordinate action there as an option there. So, um, Kalen going to one forward his Z. Traded K turns with the other ones. Rearrange the board state. Not going to clear X or Z95 number six. Yep. So, just going to slide up a little bit into that one. This is known as a self bump. Yeah, I don't think he was intentionally doing that, though. I think that, was, that wasn't that was an intentional bump. You don't think uh, so? Yeah, oh. No. I, I mean, he, he said he was going to uh, channel Blair Bunky, and that was a Blair Bunky thing to do. Yeah. Okay, so Kalen's B-Wing getting right in there, just closing the noose around that poor boy. Kalen has four. brought he's all the boxes <laughs> of kills. Like He's like, my boxes are full of kills. Would you like another? All right. Things are getting so. blue. All right. What's happening? Oh, looks like Mike Croft did, in fact, reveal a uh, non-straight maneuver. Oh. Triggering his crit, and B-Wing number four is destroyed. I guess he just forgot. It could have been the best fake you've ever seen in your life, like, come and kill my B-Wing four. I'm going to kill him myself, not give you the glory, and then all of your ships are out of position, but oh, well. Mike is looking at his dials, wondering what's happening. <laughs> Cam is showing them to him. Okay, so we're going to decide in which order uh, Mike wants to trigger these ships. Yes. So I think I think maybe what happened there is he was planning on using Zeb to do the loose stabilizer. Yeah. Saw that he was blocked by the um, Blair Bunky-ish self bump, and just went, "Oh, never mind." Not the worst decision to make, particularly in the case where you know what. Uh, you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them, and now I can use Zeb's coordinate on somebody else. Or just focus Zeb up and shoot him as he sees him. So it looks like B-Wing number three, now the center focus of all of Kalen's rage. Mm -hmm. I would say that he has all five of his arcs on B-Wing number three at this point. Right. Well, again, we see... Uh, that feature of gameplay here that you can get with lower initiative. So to quote Janet Jackson, control. I like it a lot. Okay, so Mike deciding to increase range to range three from the two Z95 shots, dodge one arc from Z95, so the B-Wing two, and get himself into position to shoot at Z95-5, which is undamaged. Right. Focus barrel roll there from that B-Wing. Nice move. Do we have a K-turn out of number two? Is he focusing fire? Is that what he's doing? 
No, it's a one bank. Oh, just a one bank. Okay, so B wing number two gonna take some hurt. So yeah. why did he bother with the barrel roll then? Just to Oh, you know what? If he moves Zeb up, he could barrel roll his B wing. The other one. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he a barrel roll is the best idea. He's not gaining much by getting him off. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that X Wing is beginning to look scarier and scarier the more ships that Mike loses. It's quite right. I think Mike is losing the war of attrition right here. He needs something pivotal, you know, turn to get this game back into the uh, square balance. If he loses another B-Wing in this turn, there's not going to be much he can do to come back from that at this point, not with 14 minutes left on the clock. Well, he's got one shield off bandit number four who has no tokens. So if he's way lucky, he could wipe it. Kalen's going to shoot his PS2s first. That's Kalen's B-Wing on Zeb. Zeb double of eight. Taking one shield from Zeb. A couple players employing their, oh my goodness, triple. Jeez, that X-Wing. <laughs> Blue Squadron Yikes. Ace. Two shields. Wow. This is Somebody brought their lucky beaver tail. Once per round, just roll natties, then mm -hmm. apologize. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mike not getting the results he wanted. Hit, hit, crit into Z95. That's pretty five. good. Two shields. Not what he needed. Right. Really needed to dump that crit into number five. So do Zeb and does number two have arc? Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, that looks good. I guess yep. you can wipe that Zed. So number five is down. Oh, just lost the shield. Zeb has arc. Gonna shoot now in oh. range one. Boom! Gonna focus up and kill that Zed 95. Boom! Zeb Aurelius boys and girls. I'll do it. Right. Ship down. PS1 Z95 falling to the barrage. Kalen still gets two return shots from his other two Zs. Yep. Hmm. B-Wing 2 still gets to shoot. Haven't we moved to Range two? Initiative 1? No, uh, PS2, oh, oh, B-Wing 2 yep. still has to shoot. Gotcha. First world problems, buddy. So many ships on the board. Hard uh -huh. to keep track. Yep, B-Wing 2 shooting at number 6. Just one. Evaded. Yep. That is not what Mike needed. Nope. Okay. So, Kalen's PS1s. No mods. Going to take some shots back. See who the That's does. still good, huh? It is. Five second rule. Right. Sorry, go on. <laughs> uh, Kalen's PS1's going to shoot back. Yep. Nope. Taking two damage on number two. Okay. So he's on two hull for number two? No. Yikes. Re entered the planning phase. That is a rough turn for Mike. Took way more damage than he wanted to. Yep. Kalen's B wing and X wing haven't been touched yet. Yep. Mike's still trying to get rid of these Z95. Z95 number five is dead. Z95 number five is dead. B-Wing number three, not in a great spot. Uh, no, he's not. That one bank is not what uh, Mike needs right now. It might even behoove him to just white two turn um, B-Wing three call. and Good call. get a shot before he dies because he's... Kalen has to decide which of Mike's two B-Wings he wants to focus fire on to destroy this turn, and it's unlikely that he'll get a shot on the other one. I mm -hmm. mean, this guy, uh, sorry, yellow B-Wing number two, can yes. probably Talon roll this way and maintain arc on Mike's B-Wing while blocking these two, which is great. But Well, that X-Wing probably just K-turns. Yeah, it would not be a bad move for the, the X-Wing to K-turn. We need one more turn for Leia to be recharged. Right. Both players have two charges recovered on their Leia. Uh, isn't Kalen's Leia gone? Yeah. Kalen's Leia is destroyed. I apologize. Yes. It's just Mike's Leia that's left. You know, you and Aaron, Aaron you and I are both, like, pretty, uh, you know, seasoned commentators. I feel like both of us are just sitting here like, <laughs> well, I'm really tired. Yeah. Fair so enough. The, but six rounds, we're just like. Kind of began to get day. I just don't know. Me. Like, this is, this is some pretty crazy uh, back and forth sword fight and stuff we got going here. I just don't see how Mike is going to get some measure of control here. Hmm. Mike's two doesn't have a whole lot of places it can go. 
Okay, so Kalen's going to move the two Z95s first and his... Actually, what am I talking about? Kalen's player one, so he's going to move his whole list, and then yes. Mike gets to move his two B-wings and Zeb. Okay, Kalen going to go first. Reveal Z95 number six first. Going to take look, looks like a three-bank. Some two bank. unorthodox West Coast marking techniques going on there. Yep. I've never been a big fan of the mark from the corner um, myself, but you know what? I'm not on the table. So, Okay, so we got the two bank from Z95-6. Looks like it clears. Oh, yeah. No question. Um, no problem there. Z95 at number six going to have to decide what he wants to do here. Going to try and He's take a red barrel roll. Z95 and B roll. Block Zeb? No, he wants to get behind B wing three. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, Z95 number four. Taking a leisurely one bank. Going to try and maintain arc on Kalen's squad here. Sorry, on uh, Mike's squad here, I should say. Wow, these uh, Mike's B wings, they just got nowhere to go, eh? Nope. Control. Mike going to need some godlike dice on this turn. Interesting to see if Mike can ace off one of the Z95s before they shoot. That could definitely help. Ooh, two turn from his B wing. Two turn from B wing two. Interesting. I get it. Nice. Help me understand. What's he doing? Uh, I believe he's going to barrel roll to the B wing's right. Subsequent to this, uh, maybe he'll just stay where he is. I would like you to note that only the B wing that I lent Kalen is the one that's a baller that can go on that forty-five degree angle. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, soon, of course. K turn from the X. Everybody's B wings will do that. True. Yeah, they'll all, uh, they'll all rotate like a like a pinwheel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's the cockpit rotation that I particularly like. Okay, so B wing to to your point is going to barrel roll. Okay. No, I think that's just a proxy. Oh, it is a proxy, You're right? There's and that there's two that turn. Two turn you called. Yep, it was the best move he had. It's pretty Not much a, the only move he had. Got to see if it exactly. clears. Does clear. Table judge Cam Murray helping with this very finickety maneuver. Yes. The problem with having this many ships, guys, is trying to maintain pace in the game. It's yep. tough. That's why when you have this many ships, if you fall behind in points, it's tough because you want to go fast, but you don't want to make bad decisions. You want to rush. You so it's kind of like a, a double-edged sword. Knock stuff all over the table. Yeah, exactly. I love a two-turn down board from Zeb right here. Yeah, Turn well, yeah. on that rear arc, still get your coordinate. That would be sick. Mike got his B-wing number two to move still here. Going to decide to move him before Zeb. Yep. No arc for that guy. Well, maybe he'll still have it on the X-wing. Not sure if that was a two straight or a 2K. We'll see in a moment, I guess. Yep, we're going to see in just one moment when... There's no arc there. Yeah. Yep. Kalen's X-wing just in a great spot there. Oh, it's a reverse. Taking that red reverse move, not escaping all the arcs, taking looks like three shots here this turn. From I mean, Kalen has to get rid of Leia, but he's also got a B-wing that's hurting. So Kalen going to shoot his X-wings first. Just one result on B-wing number two. Red squadron ace. Yeah. Blue squadron Not much ace. of an ace on that one. We'll see what happens with uh, B-wing number two. Evades the crit. Nice. No damage. Lives to fight. Kalen's PS2 B wing taking a range two shot. Two hits on Zeb. Not enough to kill him. But not enough to hurt enough to hurt him though. Jeez. Okay, so he's got one health left. And Z95 number six possibly could follow him up after Mike's twos shoot now. Alright, so we got that guy, uh, Mike's red B wing number two, not no shot. Red B wing number three got a range one shot on a damaged Z95. Oh, that's not what Mike Ouch. Needs. One result. Oh, brutal. Not evaded. Shields down. Half Still health on Z95-4. Zeb having to shoot who he's going to decide who he's going to shoot at here. Going to take a range two shot on the X-Wing, it looks like. Nope. Taking the range three on the Z95. Good call. Nope. Nothing. Nope. No. Zeb lost one more uh, hell point there, uh, Victor. Yeah. Cleanly Zeb evaded. Evades. Zeb doesn't want to die. I love nope. it. He's holding on. That um, Lasat 
Royal Guard mm -hmm. not dying in that Shethapede anytime soon. Ooh. Evaded. Yep. Zebarilios MVP not going down to not. furious fire from Kalen's ships there. I think Zeb just dodged four shots. He did. I mean, he, he took a net two damage, but that was better than dying. Uh, yeah, usually living is better than dying. Agreed. Yeah. yeah, solid solid strategy. Yep. Love it. I mean, when you're being shot at, it's what you want to do. True. Ask Neo from The Matrix. Yes. <laughs> I mean, Zeb wasn't quite that impressive, but, you know, it was a good show. So we got stress on number six, Z95, the X-Wing. All right, well, Aaron, let, let's, let's take a, a little bit of higher altitude uh, view of sure. where we're at right now. We have got um, oh dear, two minutes left in this game, guys, with seven ships on the board. Fair to say this is the last turn. Yes. Which means that Mike's path to victory here mm -hmm. is killing the two Z95s and not losing half health on B-Wing number three. Or B-Wing number two. Or B-Wing number two. Um, which is a tall order. Zeb is in a rough spot. Zeb's in a rough spot, too. Yeah, you're right. He's got to go one forward. He's worth, uh, what is that, 18 points? So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, Kalen is winning by uh, a good chunk of change right now. Mike Croft's Leia has recharged. Right. Uh, I don't know how useful, unfortunately, Leia is going to be in this particular turn. Uh, I think that B-Wing number two could probably 2K turn mm -hmm. and take an action, which is helpful. But because Mike's B-Wing number three and Zeb are already stressed, they could only do white red maneuvers, which means they retain their stress and they're not going to be able to take actions. Um, and Kalen has definitely put his ships into a position where they can finish uh, this job. So, And Mike needs to make 39 points. Yeah. Okay, so two bank from Z95 number six. Going to try and keep him alive. Kalen needs those points. Three bank from number four. Going to try and keep him alive, too. Interesting to see if Mike read Kalen's mail here. Hmm. 2K. Confirm that Mike has popped Leia. Oh, nice. So we've got white 2K turn coming from this B-Wing here. Well, this is Kalen's B-Wing. Yeah? That is Kalen's B-Wong, yeah. Yep. Uh, Kalen's B-Wing, you're right. Sorry about that. And here it looks like the X-Wing is moving to block the 2K yeah. on number two. Not a bad move there from that X-Wing at all. Yeah, Clears the stress. Say. Clears the yeah. stress. Okay, time to see what Mike did. Looks like he's trying the 2K. Nah, nope. Not doing the 2K there, my man. Should he have done the one Talon roll? I don't know. I think so. 2K from B-Wing 3. But I guess it was even odds where uh, Kalen would go to block him. Something has happened there that's number... Yeah, there was a point where they thought it was going to be the white two forward because it's red, but Leia's been triggered. I think X-Wing has um, the arc on the B-Wing there. Could be the coffin nail for uh, for Mike here. Zeb just taking a one forward. Uh-huh. Yeah, not the, uh, not the positioning that Mike needed for this final turn. Great game played by both of our players Control. here. Control. Um, we're going to finish this combat off in just a few minutes, folks. As a reminder, I have been Timbo Slice, and my uh, my co-caster for this round six, Aaron P. Yo. Cam is measuring that arc. Kalen's B-Wing shoots first, has arc on Zebarilios, who is on two hull. Kalen going for maximum destruction. But it's the only shot Kalen has on Zeb. True. Nope. Two hits. Just two. Yeah. Enough to kill Zeb. One evade. No, nope. when you roll Double evade. Oh, natties. Somebody brought their lucky beaver tail. They did. It's staple on round. the back of that sheath bead. Once per round, just roll natties and then apologize. Sorry. And it looks like B-Wing number three lives as well. Although he might have gone to half. Yep, B-Wing number two not getting a shot. B-Wing number three, Mike deciding who he wants to shoot at here. 
No real good options. I mean, you can try to take down one of these Zeds. Yeah, I think the shot on number four is the right one here. You have a non-zero chance of killing it, but yeah, yeah. not going to do Huzzah. that. Hmm. B-Wing won. Just one just result. One. Okay. Now he spends the focus and lives. Excellent game and from both it. players.